Hello from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is the weather hazards briefing for Tuesday, October 5th. A brief overview of the rest of the week. Today's going to be our warmest day, but uh, you're going to have to get ready for some of the cooler temperatures in the forecast. We'll take a look at that here in a little bit. Also, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, probably going to see some thunderstorms, uh, especially in the afternoon, and also some moderate to heavy rainfall and even some mountain snow possible. We'll take a look at that as well. Uh, we are going to see some drier conditions work, in a, work its way into the region Saturday night into Sunday, but uh, by early next week we're going to transition back into some wetter weather. So let's take a look at the weather risk for the week uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday once again as our, era, uh, our periods of concern mostly with uh, thunder but uh, once we get into Wednesday night into Thursday we're going to start to see some mountain snow there in the central mountains and we'll kind of take a look at some of the snowfall accumulations here in just a bit but uh, just kind of expect that all the way through Friday maybe lasting into Saturday morning but uh, we should start to see some drying as we head into the weekend uh, particularly uh, towards the uh, uh, middle part of Saturday probably around noon so let's take a look at our uh, weather satellite uh, for this morning. This area of clouds that's kind of moving uh, counterclockwise off the Southern California coast that's indicating that there's a low pressure center just in that area and our forecast is projecting that to move up towards the northeast throughout the day today. Might bring us some showers uh, uh, to East Idaho later on uh, this evening in the overnight hours. Also taking a look off to the west in the East Pacific, there is another uh, weather system slowly working its way into Washington and Oregon. And we'll kind of see that progress here over the next uh, three charts. And here is that uh, surface weather map for, uh, for today. You can see that cold front just off the Oregon coast there uh, and uh, highlighting in southeast Idaho some of that showers uh, across the uh, across the region uh, for today Ma and they, again this is mainly going to be tonight where those rain showers are going to be working their way into the region tomorrow we can see that cold front slowly working its way in east idaho with the blue mountains there and up into coeur d'alene uh, notice uh, we're still seeing some of the showers and thunderstorms there but uh, also in uh, the central mountains starting to see that area blue uh, it's indicating there's some mixed precipitation, so you're probably going to start to see some of that uh, uh, snow in the higher elevations there in the Central Mountains. Once we get into uh, Thursday and uh, particularly into Friday as well, we're going to see that front slowly work its way into uh, Idaho. Still seeing that uh, showers, thunderstorms uh, persisting across the region there and the snow in the higher elevations. So here is the temperature forecast. Uh, once again, today, uh, Tuesday, is going to be the warmest day. And you can definitely see throughout the course of the next few days that temperatures cooling off back into the uh, 40s and 50s across much of the Snake Plain. This is your high temperatures expected uh, versus the forecast for today. Might see 80 degrees here in the Snake Plain. Looking forward into the... Uh, precipitation forecast actually this is uh, the forecast all the way through Saturday the precipitation accumulations uh, expected uh, some pretty uh, decent rainfall amounts here especially in the southeastern and eastern highlands uh, for the for the rest of the week uh, could see up to an inch uh, maybe a little bit higher uh, amounts there in the eastern highlands that kind of backs off as you f head further to the north and west uh, uh, three quarters of an inch uh, possible here in Pocatello, Idaho Falls, maybe half inch as you head into Burley and Sun Valley. Uh, but uh, definitely some pretty good uh, precipitation accumulations here for the rest of the week. Uh, and I told you I would show you some snow accumulation here. Uh, not much, but uh, still we could see maybe one to two inches here up in the mountain passes in the central mountains. Uh, but uh, otherwise, um, uh, fairly light snowfall amounts, but uh, this is uh, early season snow, and uh, a lot of people are getting excited about that. So uh, just uh, kind of wanted to point that out. Uh, we're going to kind of look now to our 6 to 10 day temperature increase of outlook. We're going to still see that low pressure and control here over the next uh, uh, over the next week or so, week, week and a half. So we're going to still see those below normal temperatures over us above normal precipitation. So... Uh, just kind of be prepared for that. 
And uh, just to summarize, uh, again, today is going to be your warmest day, but uh, cooler temperatures are ahead. Uh, we do have thunderstorms in the forecast for much of the rest of the week. And uh, we're going to be looking at a dry day Saturday night into Sunday. But uh, once again, next Monday, we're going to be back at it again with some wetter and cool weather starting uh, early next week. So that's going to wrap things up here. So uh, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, uh, you can email us, give us a call, or hit us up on social media. Thanks for listening.